Last year, I made a video on how to clear system data on your Mac, and it quickly became one of my most viewed videos. Clearly, this issue is more common than I thought, and even though the original tutorial is still valid, I wanted to make an updated version to show you an even better way to clear your Mac. I'll keep it quick and simple since that's what we're all about. Go to Finder, click Go, and choose your home folder. Then take a few steps back and navigate to Macintosh HD. This is the root of your hard drive. If you want, you can do this for external drives as well, but system data is only located on your internal drive, so I'll focus on that. You'll want to change to the list view like I did here. Command 2 is the shortcut for that. Once you're here, hit Command, Shift, and the period key on your keyboard to reveal hidden files. And the last trick, hit Command J and make sure Calculate All Sizes is checked. With this, you'll get a nice list view of all folders on your computer, and you can sort by the file size, which helps you to locate all the items that are eating up your storage. Now you'll just go through your folders, identify large files, and delete what you don't need. And before you delete anything, make sure you know what you're deleting. Don't go crazy and just delete anything with large file sizes. The way we set up the view here will show you important system files and hidden files that are hidden for a reason. Some of them are essential for your computer to work properly, so please don't delete files if you don't know exactly what they are. The easiest target here is cache files. They are temporary files that get regenerated all the time, so usually anything in a cache folder is safe to delete. I'm going to do a quick scan of my computer to see what I can get rid of. The top folder here is labeled Backblaze, so that's my cloud backup software. Don't want to mess with that. Application support is exactly what it sounds like, and I wouldn't go delete anything from here. You'll find things like lens profiles for Adobe Photoshop, so deleting those will cause issues with applications, and we don't want that. Overall, everything looks pretty small here, and the biggest chunk of space is being taken by my users folder, so I'll look into that in a minute. Down here, everything is pretty small, but one thing I could delete is the Apple loops in this audio folder. These can always be downloaded back if I change my mind. Everything else here looks so small that I'm not going to worry about those. Let's move on. The Applications folder is literally all the applications I have installed, so no need to touch that. But if you have applications you don't need, you can always remove those. And now we're getting to the juicy part, the User folders. Here you'll see all the main folders of your computer. So for example, this Movies folder here has the movies and video files I keep on my internal drive. The Hidden Library folder is usually the biggest storage consumer. Right off the bat, you'll see something called Cloud Storage, taking up over 300 gigabytes. That's Dropbox, and it sounds about right based on what I have in my Dropbox folder. I can't delete Dropbox files here, but if I wanted to clear that space, I would go in my Dropbox folder and remove files or make them online only, as they call it. The cache folder is my favorite because it's an easy way to clear up space, and these are usually listed as system data on your Mac. Cache files are temporary files, so it's usually safe to delete them, and they get regenerated over time. My Adobe folder takes up almost 100 gigabytes, so we'll delete that. Everything else in my cache folder is pretty small, so I'm not going to worry about those. So that's really the workflow here. Set up your Finder window like I showed here, and go down the list folder by folder, deleting what you don't need. Remember to not delete anything you're not sure about. If you don't know what something is, it's usually a quick Google search away to find what it is and if it can be deleted. One thing to note, if you have multiple user accounts on your Mac, you'll have to log in to each account and do this again on those accounts. You'll see other users listed in the folder here, but you can't access the contents of their folders unless you're logged into that user account. One more thing. If you're using Time Machine for backups, it can sometimes take up space because it keeps saving local snapshots of your system when the Time Machine backup drive is not connected. If your drive stays unplugged for a long time, those snapshots can take up a lot of space. Technically, you shouldn't have to worry about those. Your Mac will adjust the size automatically and free up space if it's needed by other files and applications. But if you want to clear your local snapshots, here's how you do it. Just go to your Time Machine settings and change the backup frequency to manual. Save the changes and give your computer some time to clear the snapshots in the background. 
you can later change back to automatic backups once that's done. But again, storage for Time Machine is automated in the background, so usually you don't need to do this. And that wraps it up. Let me know in the comments below if this helped you clear some space on your computer, and if you value simple and quick, easy to follow tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.